Hello surfers of the internet. Um, right, it's not raining. Um, there's a hint of blue sky and sun around, but this isn't going to be a long video because it's bloody freezing. It really is. Um, it is coming up the 23rd, yes, 23rd of March, I think, today. Uh, and it's cold. In fact, on my Facebook, it just came up 11 years ago, we had snow. Make of that what you will. Anyway, today, kind of a part two, a follow on. Um, working on the Tiger again behind me. Uh, today, the back breaks. So, um, yeah, let's chat. Let's get on with it. So, we all chopped off and supported. Handbrake's off. Let's get the wheels off. And, um, yeah, it's just the discs to do today. Uh, nothing else. Um, luckily for me, now, let me just go back a bit. I had, um, I had four new tyres put on just before Christmas. And, uh, yeah, all but one wheel has these on yeah and the tire fit has managed to scratch my newly painted wheels up and then denied all knowledge and then denied all knowledge of leaving these off as well which are almost impossible to get hold of so um i'm not going to name and shame yet but um i'm not impressed let's just say that right i'm waffling again let's get this wheel off and yet again of course they did them up far too blooming tight right and there you go there's the wheel off now somebody said to me last time I was doing brakes that you don't have to take the whole caliper off to get the disc off I'm finding that hard to believe to be honest um, but what I may do is hmm, I may just take this back plate off and see if there's enough room to do it I don't think there is but um, well the internet said it is it's possible so who am I to doubt? There you go, so both the bolts out the caliper. The bottom one's a bit strange, um, in case it catches you out. Looks like that when you got it out. So this, basically, um, that basically goes through that stabiliser block there, bolts on with a 10mm, with a 13mm to get that out. Looks a bit strange, but there, yeah, it works okay. Right, I'm gonna move that loose a bit, and then gonna get myself uh, a strappy device to hang that up. There you go, so out of the way for now. Right, let's pull these brake pads. Now I did clean this disc up. In fact, I think I cleaned both the discs up some time ago, so they shouldn't be too bad. Um, plenty of meat on the brake pads, to be honest. But I know the disc isn't in the best of shape. I mean, I did bodge it up before just to, to get it for the MOT because it was absolutely filthy and rusty. Um, nah, that, that ain't gonna come off, is it? There's no way. That's going to come out of there without taking this backing plate off. So I'm going to do it my way. <sighs> Break out the dumb star drives. Only Vauxhall. Well, everybody have a tendency of doing dumb things, but Vauxhalls as well. There you go. It's off. I need to cover the bolt, so it's not too bad. Right. My favourite screws come next. One T30 and an impact. Yeah. Easiest way to do it. Just like that. Bit of a clean, bit of a clean, bit of a clean. Clean enough. Yeah. There you go. Brand new disc and a couple of Frodero, Frodo, Frodero pads. Cleanly, 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 clean, cleanly, cleanly. And just the slightest of smear of copper grease. Only a slight bit. Just a little bit. Just a little. No, no. Not too much. Just a little bit. Now the next bit is to push that caliper back. I'm going to get my tool out because you have to wind those back in again because they're on a like a spider drive inside. And as they push out, it adjusts automatically. So you can't just push them back in. You've got to twist them back in. Let's do it. There you go, that's what the tool looks like. Sorry about the wind, because it's really getting up now, and I think I can feel rain. <sighs> anyway, yeah, I bought this for a, an Audi years ago, uh, but it seems to work for just about everything. So basically, yeah, it slips in there, like, like so. You adjust it up to where you need it. Those two pins fit inside the pin of the caliper, and then you just turn it. Simple. 
And there you go, we're way on back. Right, let's get uh, get the pads in. And the same as the front ones, make sure you give the sliders a really good clean. Um, if you've got new, put them in, obviously. I haven't, so we're going to use the old ones. But they clean up fine, they are um, stainless. But they've got to be nice and clean. We'll put a little smear of copper grease on there as well. Only a tiny bit, but don't get carried away. As for the front two, exactly the same. Make sure your sliders go in and out all right. Nice and loose, nice and free. So one of them to me did feel a little bit stuck um, in certain places, so um, now it's not. Yeah, a little bit of general purpose grease on these ones. Um, don't put copper grease in, it's no good. General purpose, that's the stuff you want. Lovely stuff. That's better, much better. So there you go, carriers back on again. Everything's nice and loose. Apart from the bolts obviously because they need to be tight yeah that would be silly to leave those loose right pads in caliper back on now just while i remember because this caught me out before as well that pin there remember our little slider before just there those two have got to line up yeah they have honestly so yeah when you put the back one in it's got a pin on it like that let me get good focus there you go and obviously then make sure that your caliper will slide over that actually you won't be able to get it on and you'll go what the f what's going on okay pads are in and then just simply slide it back on and now all we've got to do is put the crazy bolt back in that goes at the bottom like oops let me get you around there like so which i can't do because yeah i need two hands <laughs> and then just the standard bolt at the top so there you go that fits in there like that you may need to put 15 mil on there just to hold that but uh, most of the time they go in without that and then you put the anti squealy jobby what's it on and then put the 10 mil on there and then just nip that up and then like i say at the top it's just a standard bolt yet to put that one in but that's how it looks anyway and there we're all back together again what i didn't mention probably should but if you're doing this yourself you're gonna know we well, should know a um, little bit of loctite on the bolts they are brakes after all you don't want them coming apart let's be honest so a little bit of loctite on the uh, on the bolts you put it in not too much again just a little bit it's all it needs right it's pretty much rinse and repeat on the other side so um, I'm going to crack on with it and there you go ladies and gentlemen of the internet we are all done new brakes on the front last week on the back this week so tips really um, obviously make sure when you put the discs on they're nice and clean you clean them down because a lot of the time they have a, a penetrating wall on them just to stop them uh, you know in transit or, or in stock uh, stop them rusting um, a little bit of Loctite on your bolts and most important thing make sure those sliders are nice and free and well greased on this side they were actually stuck so I'm glad I've done this um, because they were yeah they were properly stuck in there so uh, yeah I managed to get them free and clean them up greased them up and now we should be good mechanically for quite some time so that is it that is my little 1.8 Tigra not the prettiest thing in the world but mechanically pretty much spot on now and uh, next thing some time ago I did bodge up some speakers in here in the door card um, I'm going to do it properly soon, might even change the head unit, I don't know yet, we shall see. But I'm going to take it for a little drive, make sure we're all okay, and then enjoy some of my Saturday, which is a rare treat for me. Anyway, thanks for joining me, and hopefully somebody found this a little bit interesting, and hopefully somebody found it a little bit useful, if you're going to do your own brakes. It's not a hard job, you just got to think about it, take your time, and make sure that you do it right. Right, that's it. Catch you later, Internet. Bye-bye for now.